guys, it's vlog time! Woo! I just posted a, a collage of pictures on Instagram, um, just like making faces like, mm, and a bunch of funny shit because why the fuck not uh, before I did this vlog? Well, I was listening to some Lamb of God. Before that, I was listening uh, to some, I think it's Vitamin R is what it's called. Uh, beautiful? No. Uh, something, I, I forget. Okay, there's a song, Beautiful, that I listened to by I don't know who the fuck. Uh, Ten Years. Ten Years is the name of the band. And then there's another song after that that I listened to. Uh, by Vitamin R called something or other, but they're really good songs, uh, that I heard at uh, none other than my fucking ex Magic the Gathering card shop, which is pretty cool. Um, they played a lot of really good music. That was pretty much the only good thing about that ghetto-ass motherfucking place. And by ghetto, I mean, uh, falling apart in kind of a bad area of town, pretty small, and the owners were a bunch of dumb fucks. Uh, the, the last owners before the place shut down were a bunch of fucking dumb fucks. Um, the woman was like a feminist bitch and the guy was like some seriously pussy whipped always on drugs like he's just like a shell of a person like the worst people ever and they fucking it, initially they hated me and then they started hating jay and me because i was kind of backing up jay when jay said that uh feminism is stupid and egalitarianism is where it's at if you're actually not a pretentious stupid bitch you would say you're an egalitarian because you fucking believe in equality for all not just equality for women um, and it's kind of ridiculous to pretend that there is uh, a necessity for only the equality of women. For me, I'm an egalitarian because I believe in equality uh, of rights for every single kind of person. Gay, straight, black, white, uh, pretty much anything. Man, woman. Uh, and that's what makes sense to me. I mean, if I care about the rights of women, I should also care about the rights of everyone else. And it's not such an epidemic like you guys all know, I think, uh, in the United States especially. And I'm not anywhere else. I'm in the United States. So the only difference I can make, really, is in Western, civiliz Western civilization because I don't have anything to do with you know, the tribes in Africa that are fucking circumcising women or whatever, like, I can't fucking change that, neither can the fucking stupid pretentious feminists that are complaining about fucking sexy women on the cover of magazines or women getting sexual compliments or being sexualized or objectified. All that shit is so fucking Western and so, like, spoiled to even give a shit about that or to, you know, spread this propaganda. But anyway, that's not what this fucking video is about! Anyway, uh, bleh, fucking fix this shit. I need to, like, um, not go on random rants for two minutes and 38 seconds because people always bitch that I'd never get to the topic Well, the topic today is uh, shallowness and people seem to uh, Get the two mixed up. Uh, they get shallowness and Preference mixed up. It seems like uh, I was said something about how there's some guy that was talking to me that like made an, a sexual advance at me that I am not attracted to uh, and this guy posted a comment. I'll actually uh, do the overlay of the comment again because I gaze out it. I call it gaze out, but it's Gaiazo. It's a really good program. You guys should use it. If you ever want to like screenshot things like on your computer, on the internet, you don't have to like print screen and then copy it to like Photoshop or art, whatever the fuck pad that you guys use. Uh, it's really easy. Just gaze out. Just go zoop, grab it and you know, it fucking gives you a URL and you can also download the image. But anyway, um, it's G-Y-A-Z-O dot com, I believe. I'm not sure. But uh, there's also a plugin where you can just stick it on your uh, taskbar and then just click it and then you can do it. And there's also a GIF version. I, I am not sponsored. I, did you guys just hear Jay? He's like screaming because he's playing League. Anyway, um, I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just think it's a really good program and all of my friends use it and we post stuff into Skype. So anyway, um, this comment that someone left was, um, it was like about saying that I'm shallow or something because I would never give the time of day to a guy that I don't find sexually attractive or a guy that's not attractive. And then he was, he goes on to say something like, like he wasn't really, he wasn't mean, he wasn't a troll, he just like had some issue with what I said. And a lot of people are like this, they have some kind of moral issue or they under, they misunderstand something I say and they are fans and they are, uh, watch my videos and they're supporters of me, but uh, they have some issues with some things that I say either because they're, you know, just different in a different lifestyle or they misunderstand me. And I think in this uh, sense, they misunderstood me uh, because he was saying that, like, how would you feel if you got let down? Well, I want to uh, address that first. If I'm attracted to someone and I'm making sexual advances at them and uh, they turn me down, that's perfectly fine with me. I would much rather they be very open and quick about it and, like, honest and... They don't necessarily have to just, like, if I'm, like, flirting with them, they don't necessarily have to be like, hey, you're not my type, get the fuck away, because I don't do that either. And some people might consider that to be leading on. But if someone asks me out on a date, I will point blank be like, I'm sorry, I don't date, and you're not really my type. But thank you, I appreciate it, it's flattering. Um, 
And I understand as a human being that if someone lets me down, that that's fine. It's based on their preferences. They're not either interested in dating at the time or they're not interested in me or they don't like my look or they don't like my personality. There is not one person in the world that is attractive to every single person. And if someone gets butt hurt or their feelings hurt because they got let down, that's kind of ridiculous to me. Like, you have to know... First of all, be confident in yourself. Know that, you know, you are who you want to be and someone out there will love you. That is go it's the truth for every single person in the whole world, even that 1,000 pound woman that used to exist or 1,000 pound man that used to exist. He's fucking married and like every single like asshole out there is married. Every single like unattractive person, you there's someone for you. There's someone that finds you attractive. There's someone that will love you. And to be confident in yourself and to love yourself is like the step one of being a human being. So getting like really butthurt or really like sad that someone let you down that you're attracted to is just kind of silly because it's gonna happen there are gonna be people that don't want anything to do with you and you can't avoid that so that's something you should pretty much just understand it's very reasonable and logical uh the second uh half of that is like me not uh, giving the time of day to anyone that's attractive. First of all, um, that is true and untrue. Sexually, I'm not gonna give anyone the time of day that I don't find attractive because to me, uh, sex, it, sex and even relationships are at least half physical. Um, if it's just sex and it's purely like no attachment sex, then it's 100% physical other than whatever nuances they have in their personality that can turn you on. Like for me, I like a guy who's really, you know, dominating and demanding and, um, manly in his actions what I consider manly in his actions like that's something that can turn me on and doesn't really have anything to do with his you know physical appearance but to say that I should give the time of day to a guy that I consider to be less than a five because of my sexual personal preferences that's ridiculous why would I have to do that it's my personal preferences and if you're not my cup of tea like I'm sorry that if that hurts your feelings but just you know move on to the next because you know, there's someone for everyone and you're just not for me. And that's just how it is. Um, in terms of not giving someone the time of day, like that's what makes you shallow. Shallowness is if you don't want to talk to someone or be friends with someone or don't give the, you know, standard, just that's another human being respect. Like, you know, I'm going to allow you to pursue life, love and the pursuit of happiness. Like you're going to be allowed to do that because you're another human being. Like that's the the minimum respect that you should give to a random other stranger. And if you don't give that to people because of their appearance or you don't give that to people because they don't make enough money, that's something that's shallow. If you can't be friends with someone because of the way they look or something superficial like that, then that makes you shallow. Not the fact that you won't sleep with them or the fact that you won't date them. There are people whose personality that I'm absolutely fucking in love with, but I will never have sex with them. For instance, Louis C.K., he's fucking hilarious and amazing and, and I fucking love his stand-up and I love his show even but he's not my kind of guy sexually. Would I be friends with him? Fuck yes. Would I talk to him? Fuck yes. Do I talk to all of the like magic nerds and the video game nerds? Of course I do. I don't like hold anything against them based on their person, their physical appearance, but I will say that, hey, I'm not interested in you. I will never date you. I will never have sex with you because you, are, you only have half of what I'm looking for in a person and I'm not going to settle and that's just, it's up to my discretion and it's my freedom as a human being as an american i guess you would say to be able to do that how does that make me shallow like i really feel like people are settling too often as i've said a billion times before people are settling way too often with one or the other only sex and then they hate the person or only personality and then they don't have a great sex life and end up cheating or wanting to cheat or you know not being on the same page sexually and that is something that in my opinion is settling and it's not okay you should have both because both are very important and if you have that magnetism that romantic like pull and that sexual desire and the fact that you can communicate and keep things fresh and you know satisfy each other like for a million years to come like that's what's important and being able to talk to each other being able to be friends like that combined is what makes a soulmate that combined is what makes you know a wife or a husband or a boyfriend if you're not into the you know whole regular stereotype of a traditional relationship like I am that that's what makes someone more than just a friend not just being like oh he makes me laugh therefore I'll you know think about Brad Pitt while I fuck him and marry him because he's my best friend no you marry your hot best friend what you consider hot you marry your you know guy that gives really good head and makes you laugh and has an intellectual conversation with you and can you know 
understand things on your level and will always have your back. There's so many facets to a relationship and it seems like people feel like they're going to be shallow if they say, you know, yeah, you're a cool dude, but I'm not going to date you because of the way you look. That There's nothing wrong with that at all. You should have both. And as long as you're not turning people down to be a friend or just like immediately judging people based on their looks and being like, oh, you are way too not cool looking to be my friend and sit at my table at lunch. Like that's what makes you shallow. If that's all you care about at all for any kind of human interaction, that's what makes you shallow. Not just saying I'm not gonna have sex with you because you fucking don't make my pussy wet or my dick hard. That's perfectly fine. That's your fucking right. And you shouldn't feel trapped into doing something with someone that you don't want to because of one of those reasons. If you think some guy's an asshole, but he makes your pussy wet and all you want to do is have sex with him and you want to tell him I'm not going to have a relationship with you because you lack some things that I need fundamentally in a relationship, that's perfectly fine too. What's wrong with that? So hopefully that uh, covers it. I'm going to do a vlog soon about religion. I've been holding off on that because I know I'm going to piss a lot of people off and um, a lot of the people who I... Uh, love as viewers and stuff. I don't want to like let you guys down and I know some people will love me a lot more for it uh, But it's something that you know a lot of people will be butthurt about and I'm always 100% honest So I'm gonna be 100% honest on this topic as well um, But yeah, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about that. Let me know in the comments what uh, if you've ever been um, pressured to date someone because you don't want to hurt their feelings or because you feel like you would be shallow if you said that they weren't your type physically um, or the other way around maybe you feel bad that some guy fell in love with you when you're you can't be in love with them because their personality just doesn't suit yours alright guys uh, I'm gonna go stream soon I'm gonna make some Bloodborne and uh, maybe some Mortal Kombat X videos and then yeah bye guys love you Woo! Yeah.